its foundation inspection. Now the grade at the, uh, where are we now? So we're in an apartment complex, it's not so easy to do left and right elevations. Okay, yeah. We're going to assume the front is the front door, and everything's going to be left or right of that, so we're on the right elevation, and the uh, grade is a little bit too high, it's going to come into contact with the uh, brickwork, and allow damp to get into the building, so it needs to be raked. Now we're going to look at the exterior walls, see if there's any signs of foundation moving. At the front elevation, look at the portico veranda up there, access to the property above it. All looking good. window to the master bedroom and the window to the lounge here. They are both, all the windows are, are fogged. And that's caused by the heat of the sun over the years. It breaks the seal and the water gets in and uh, that causes it to fog up. This is the window by the uh, door, back door is in good condition. I would assume it's been replaced because there's no damage to the seal in between the two panes. Another window. Oh, that's all looking good. Let's go and have a look at the window on the side here. Oh, they're all looking good. And I think what we've got here is a front door. got a window here.
insulation, the interior of walls, the doors and the windows. Check that the locks are actually efficient. Yeah, we've got old just bolts on there. All secure. The only problem is that the door frame wouldn't actually take a lot of load. You can see we close that like that. Now what you might like to do to make it more secure is to get a uh, frame embedded uh, block. We'll go one up the top here, one down the bottom there. And it just, you know, gives you extra strength and holds the door. Although I think this area is quite secure. Okay. A little bit of cracking around the frame here. Just typical movement we get. see the windows and the walls around here. What we're looking for is movement in the building and that shows itself by cracks in the sheetrock and you can't paint over them despite the best attempts of a lot of people. You can't do it. Windows, double opening door here. Single door. Now we have a lock here. There's another one down here and that will open the door up completely. Function news and we put the bolt back in and this bolt down here is not working okay so the bolt there at the bottom of the door is not working that's got to be fixed because it's not secure There's a water leak at this window here. You see how it's actually damaging the uh, window sill. Uh, that's got to be fixed because left as it is, it could introduce mark into, into the house. Here we go at the next window. Again, there's a sign of water penetration at this window. This window's fine. There's a little bit of movement in the mantelpiece here, around the sheet rock. In fact, that looks like there's been water penetration. Now, I mentioned in the earlier picture of the chimney that we have signs of water penetration and prior repair on the chimney at the top. Now, I must note that I wasn't on the roof. I used an elevated camera. It's a 30-foot camera, so it's aerial, goes way above us. And it was that way I took photographs of the roof. Okay. Let's go in and see some more windows. This is the master. Again, these windows in here. Number and more. Yep, fogged. Oh, those have been replaced. They're in quite good condition. And there's signs of border penetration again at these windows. Yeah, a lot of penetration down there. But there's no cracking in the sheetrock. Let's go have a look at the small back bedroom here. Yeah, sign of water penetration at all windows. And the windows here are fogged. There's nothing you could do with these windows. It's all you can do is really replace them. And I'm not sure whether they'd be your responsibility or the management company. Something you could check with your um realtor. Okay. This is the dishwasher. The uh, dishwasher door doesn't open properly. It's quite a struggle to get it open. It's in need of repair. We're just going to put it through a cycle. See if it runs.
The electrical services panel is in the kitchen. Here's the microwave. And if you close this door here, you'll see it's hidden completely. Open this door up and you've got the panel revealed. Now we're going to see if we can take the front off. Hopefully we can. Here's the electrical panel. It effectively is a sub-panel. And that means that the ground and the neutral should float, which they do. We have a ground port detector. It's working now. Out there in the kitchen, here we are, next to the cooker and it's exposed, it's not fixed into the wall, so that's dangerous. No GFCI there, well it doesn't need to be. It's got to be GFCI here, and it is. It's there, good. This should be GFCI and it's not, it's within three foot of water. We're in the uh, bathroom. These should be GFCI outlets. There you are. to the master. Okay, this master is double G GFCI, GFCI fitted here and it's also fitted either on the wall or in the panel. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, here it is, so can't be too safe I guess. Okay, let's go out there. Apart from one broken outlet down the kitchen. This is uh, the register in the bathroom, and I took this one particularly apart because there was rust on it. And it's quite damp in a bathroom, so you know, you're going to have the conditions available perhaps for mould and I think we've got it. I think you're going to need to get a mould test. I can't positively identify what this black powder is um, but it certainly shouldn't be black like that inside the register. Um, and a simple test will identify whether you do have a problem or not. So that's the register in the uh, guest bathroom and there's the presence of black powder. I'm not sure what it is. Clear outs and isolation valve for the water supply are located at the left, sorry, the right elevation of the property. There's the laundry room, there's the window, and here's the isolation valve. I'm not quite sure of the location of the meter. The cover to the water meter is broken and represents a considerable trip hazard.
spark guard to the fireplace, that's this, this guard here, okay, is loose and falling out. the wall here you see the uh, nipple and the pipe are loose that's going to cause water to get in behind that wall and that would not be a good result So this pipe is loose here, you can see in the wall, uh, that's, that's bad. What will happen over time, this pipe is going to move and it will break. Uh, not quickly, it will just break and a little bit of water will come out for a while. Could be months, water will be dripping out. There's a little bit of rust on there too anyway. And that would all be behind the wall here, you wouldn't even know it was going on. So that's got to be fixed. You can see the whole idea is not to have that moving that way. We're moving the pipe behind that drywall. Oh, that's right. Now there's a considerable amount of cracking in the corking around the master bath here. It's in very poor condition, almost certainly will be leaking. In addition to that, you can see there's black discoloration. That could well be an organic growth of some sort or another. 
see down here in the bottom there's evidence of water leaking out onto the carpet and around the floor and the drywall here is started to collapse due to the presence of water at some point or another now I can't say it's here at the moment at all um, all we can do is just report it for the present moment So that's all in need of corking. We're heating, this is the elements. Yeah. This is the master bedroom, uh, uh, suite, we've got the bath here. Now in this area, all around here, it's actually leaking water into the water system and with the infrared camera, which you'll see when you look at the photographs, the infrared photographs, with the infrared camera I can tell you that there's water running out in, under the carpet here and there's water running out under the carpet here. Now this particular bathroom is not in constant use but if you were in constant use over time this whole area would rot. We have temperature inside the oven of 355. Okay. The grout is leaking and we've got water penetrating the carpet down here in the guest bathroom and we have water that's coming out under the carpet in this area here you'll see the infrared photograph uh, very clearly showing water penetration